courtroom, a place of dignity and decorum and outbursts are not to be expected. Uh, you may bring in the jurors. You may, of course. <laughs> Yes. Mr. Chairman, papers to the court. Madam Court Person, on indictment 2013-983-A, charging the defendant Aaron Hernandez with murder, what say you, Madam Court Person? Is the defendant not guilty, guilty of murder in the first degree, or guilty of murder in the second degree? Guilty of murder in the first degree. Madam Court Person, by which theory or theories deliberate premeditation and or extreme atrocity or cruelty? Extreme atrocity or cruelty. Indictment 2013-983-B, charging the defendant Aaron Hernandez with unlawful possession of a firearm while not at home or work. What say you, Madam Foreperson? Is the defendant not guilty or guilty? Guilty. Indictment 2013-983-C, charging the defendant Aaron Hernandez with unlawful possession of ammunition. What say you, Madam Foreperson? Is the defendant not guilty or guilty? Guilty. 
Your Honor, the jury be polled on count one pursuant to Rule 27, please. Jury in seat one is the verdict on indictment 2013-983-A as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat number three is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in, uh, Madam foreperson, is the verdict that you've announced, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat number seven is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat number eight is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat number nine is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat number 10 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat 13 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat 14 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat 15 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Jury in seat 16 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. And jury in seat 18 is the verdict as announced by the foreperson, your verdict. Yes. Be seated, please, jury. Uh, please remain standing. Thank you. May the verdict be recorded. Amen. Members of the jury, hearken to your verdict as it will be recorded by the court. Upon your oaths, you do say the defendant, Aaron Hernandez, is guilty of murder in the first degree on indictment 2013-983-A under the theory of extreme atrocity or cruelty. But the defendant is guilty of unlawful possession of a firearm while not at home or work on indictment 2013-983-B. And that the defendant is guilty of unlawful possession of ammunition on indictment 2013-983-C. So say you, Madam Foreperson, yes or no? Yes. So say all the members of the jury. Yes. yes. You may be seated, please. Members of the jury, and I include those of you who deliberated and those of you who were alternates, I want to thank all of you very, very much for giving your valuable time to hear and decide this case. I am not unmindful of the sacrifice you all made to serve on this jury and the disruptions to your family life, work schedule, and social routine. I also understand that it is not easy to sit in judgment of a fellow human being. Your contributions were essential to the functioning of our judicial system. There are few things more important that a citizen in a free and open society can do than serve as jurors for their peers. This truly is a people's court with you, the people, ruling. At this time, you're all discharged and free to leave. I do um, have one last favor to ask of you. In a moment or two, I would like to speak with all of you a little more informally in the jury room. Um, I will be thanking you again for your service. I cannot and will not discuss the contents of your deliberations with you. That is personal to the 12 of you who deliberated, and the court will not be inquiring about that. I also want to tell you that under our state law, after the verdict has been recorded, uh, the court's list containing the names of the 12 deliberating jurors is a public record. It is likely that members of the media will be contacting you to see if you're willing to speak to them. By law, the addresses of everyone called for jury duty is also publicly accessible. At this point, the restriction on your talking to anyone about the case is lifted, but you are under absolutely no obligation to talk to any member of the media about this case or indeed to anyone else, and you are free to refuse to do so. You may wish to take some time to think about whether or not you wish to be interviewed. If you choose to talk, you are in control of what you say. In other words, you may decline to answer certain questions and answer others. Purely as a matter of convenience for those of you, if any, who may want to talk to the media at this time, a room will be made available for this uh, purpose. 
The media who have been regularly covering the case and who are uh, present have represented to the court that they are not likely to otherwise contact any juror who makes himself or herself available um, in that uh, room uh, to be interviewed, and they're also not likely to contact any juror who comes into the room and expresses a wish not to be interviewed. The media has been ordered not to photograph or film any juror who enters the room without that juror's explicit permission. We will have a bus to take those of you who wish to leave immediately to the parking lot and a second bus leaving later should any of you choose to go downstairs to the room that has been set aside. You can choose to walk to your car if you wish. I do, however, expect that there will be a large contingent of media and others in the front of the courthouse, many with cameras, so you should be aware that if you opt to walk outside the front door, you are likely to be approached and or photographed. If you choose to talk today or at any future time, please consider that your deliberations were conducted in secret in order to encourage free, open, and candid debate in reaching a verdict. As one United States Supreme Court Justice wrote in a decision, freedom of debate might be stifled and independence of thought checked if jurors were made to feel that their arguments and ballots were to be freely published to the world. Given the strong interest in the freedom and independence of jury deliberations, even if you choose to talk to the media, you may refuse to disclose what went on in the jury room and may well think it better and more prudent to decline to discuss what occurred in the jury room. I strongly urge, but do not order, you to keep the contents of the jury's deliberations private and confidential and not to discuss what anyone in the jury room may have said. I'll be back to talk to you a little more informally in a few moments. Thank you. All right. Jurors have left the courtroom. Court's in session. Be seated, please. We can proceed to sentencing after I uh, speak with the jurors, uh, unless you uh, believe if someone's going to make a victim impact statement, if they may need a few more minutes. Uh, yes, Your Honor, if we could have a few minutes, please. Okay, so it's 10.30. Um, we move for sentencing and whatever the court wishes for the time. Right. But, uh, I mean, I could do it by quarter to 11. I, I just didn't know if you needed any more time than that. Um, yes, Your Honor. There was one uh, family member who was on her way, and I think she's um, maybe 15 minutes away. So if we could do it. So uh, 10 of? 10 of 11. Thank, Thank you. you and much. if there's a problem, if you need an extra five minutes, if you could just let the clerk know. Thank you. Thank you. But all right. What's going to stand in your